this state. So to practice this, it's exactly what I do. Is a, and then you freeze. And you look at yourself and you go, you look at this line and you pretty much know if you're right or, you know, if you're in a good position or not. Because if you're like this, then, you know, again, this is a, how did I kind of reach the idea that this is wrong? Because this is what I learned in Aikido, you know, how to break somebody's wrist. You take it like that, you know, like that. Ooh. I just figure out that this, for me, is not a, where I can feel flexible. You know, if you need to go, kind of like, yeah. It's just, just like, when is it going to stop? <laughs> I'm never going to stop. I go and go and go. So, just don't come to my concert. Um, <laughs> Um, so, to reach and freeze, and then kind of check the four parts mentally, or in front of a mirror, and then calm down. And, and then you can then add, and then this is, a, this is an interesting one because here you can really, you can bring the elbow down and seriously, I, 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 although I kind of say I use more going into the stick than using my elbow, I do recommend doing both consciously, like going and, do, and, and using kind of, I kind of imagine two circles, a circle here and a circle here. And I can kind of manipulate what I want to do. This is what this, this is the control. So you can feel if you're overusing your elbow, or if that feels great, or if you want to use this and not the elbow so much. Okay. Um, the beginning of our sound when we start. This is one of those um, dangerous moments. Whether we're doing chords, or we're doing. Uh, and we like, yeah, or, you know, or we, you know, the first note of anything means it's because we have this thing of, of the approach. We approach and we're not really sure and we're a little bit, you know, we're a little bit kind of nervous and then suddenly it's just what we do in a normal, in a normal daily life without even thinking, we, it becomes a very, very dangerous moment. Because I do think that the approach approach to the string is incredibly important and we don't work on it and that really many times I've slipped because of that. Many times I've made a mistake because I just, you know, yeah, just like suddenly I just don't feel right. So, and that working on the approaches was actually one of the first steps that got me to understanding weight and understanding sound. How I approach the, the, the string. Now, I've seen that many times happen, and I've done it also, so I always kind of like inwardly laugh at myself when I, when I, when I and you, you've probably seen that also, you know, something has to start and they go like. <laughs> you know, I've done it, I've done it, and then I thought like, why is it, why does it feel so terrible? And then I just, I just realized that <laughs> um, I think you all agree with me, hopefully, that this is easy and this is hard. I mean, this is no problem. And here we have a weight, on, especially on the fourth finger, everything is kind of solidified. The first thing that I would do is minimize the air time. So my approach. The air time, air time, air. <laughs> Sorry, my my. I can't change. I'm Israeli. We just you know we, we speak in a, in a terrible accent and we invade countries. Otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have to get it out of the open. I mean, you're all thinking, you're all thinking it. Come on. Yeah. Um, so you know when I try to avoid this. I try to avoid the time, the amount of time that I'm doing this because that solidifies my. You can really feel it. This is this is soft, and once you do that, because you're putting the weight, it becomes.
becomes hard. So if I had to do I would approach and turn only really in the last moment to stop myself from and it's amazing. Two two seconds and you're like this and you're already you know, I feel already everything tightened up. So if possible, and this is, this is also, by the way, it's a psychological thing, and it really works. You start playing from here. So you go to yourself, now, instead of now. So you start the swing really on the approach. So whatever I have to start, and if I do it like a, yeah, I don't go, now I'm playing. I go, now. And I work on that beginning. So once I swing here, I'm not hesitating. Any slow time, any slowing down and turning that I do is is kind of you know makes makes the makes it harder on my muscles. Just absolutely, absolutely harder. Bye. Bye. Um, so so I would. This is a. I feel that this is a very very good exercise which I do is to approach and land on different places on the boat. You start with this, which is actually the easier, enough, easiest in approach. And then you start, start going further away. Here, of course it's gonna bounce, but you've kind of bounce. Then, the next, the next, so this is approach. Then I put a weight, then I put a, a, a weight a exercise, which means I approach, touch, become very heavy to the point that I don't move. Get up again, take the bow out. Approach, touch, then I drop the weight. And then again, when you drop the weight, you can drop it in so many different places, but really drop the weight like we just, like I showed you, dropping it into the, into the stick, to the point that I can't move. Bring it up again, taking it out. Same thing. Up again. Up. That's number two. Number three, is like, it's, I call it string empathy. I don't know why, it just sounds good. Um, <laughs> is where you feel that you, it's, it's knowing how much pressure you need to apply to start a good sound. So I do the, exactly the same thing, approach, touch, pressure, elevating the pressure to the point I think I can start a note without scratching. So if I do this, that, that I didn't elevate enough. If I do this, I elevate it too much. Just the feeling to start a note. That middle, and, and then you, you get you start to have a feeling of the string, of what is too much and what is too little. And you do it in different places, up and down, different directions, different notes. Of course, it's a different feeling if you start here or, or there. You find because the string is becoming shorter. This is the beginning of kind of putting it all together. Approach, touch, weight, and speed together to create. Eventually, we're all doing it to create a nice sound. So if it sounds bad, with the exception of uh, doing it in four parts, that's never going to sound good. But if, it's, if you're working on your bow technique or any technique and it sounds bad, you're doing it wrong. No matter what you think you're doing, it's wrong. It shouldn't, it shouldn't sound bad. You all should do it so it should sound good. And that you're feeling comfortable with what you're doing. Um, any questions so far? Okay. Um, the next thing is large movements. We really have only two directions, I believe, you know. Uh, and let me just see if I... Oh, yes. Okay. Horizontal versus vertical movements. Um, as, we pro as we move across across the string and it can be uh, different ways we 
basically have the movement that brings our bow up and down. And still, what makes the sound is any kind of movement that moves side to side. We really should not combine it, because if we combine it, we get all these notes in the, mid, in the middle. A very good exercise is really doing a, a G major scale, well, tapping. So that will become, I'll become solidified in what I'm telling you, but I hope not. I hope I'll keep on asking myself the same questions I'm asking myself and change and evolve. Um, as some teachers, the great teachers that I know have always changed and evolved. And, um, it's, so it's, I never think it's too late. If my father can call me at the age of 70 and still try to correct my hands, then <laughs> I'll phone. No, I'm going to save you. Dad, I'm 39. That's a matter. Move your thumb two inches. I am. <laughs> I'm not bitter. <laughs> Years of psychology, psychological <laughs> treatment have cured me of that. Um, so changing, actually being aware of, of that when you're changing the string, that your vertical and horizontal or horizontal mov movement um, is um, extremely, should not mix, is very important. Um, before, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, 